Mmm, this hot cocoa is delicious. It's even better with the marshmallows. Deanne, I can't believe we're approaching the new year. I know, Blake. What a welcome change this year has been to not have COVID hanging over our heads in quite the same way as before. Well, we certainly have a lot to be grateful for. What are you most grateful for, Deanne? So many things. But if I were to narrow it down, I would say our caring community, uh, passionate and expert faculty and staff, uh, our very strong partnership with parents, and of course, our complete dedication of the Dwight School Foundation, all sharing the same mission of igniting that spark of genius in every child. Also, being able to resume more in-person events, those collaboration celebrations that bring us all together as a Dwight community. What about you, Blake? Well, first and foremost, I have to say the sheer joy of learning and enthusiasm of our students. Also, I'm incredibly proud that we're celebrating 150 years of educational excellence. Well said. Thank you know, you. shall we write some thank you holiday cards right now? Let's do it. Great idea. Well, let's recap all the wonderful things we have seen so far this year, starting with our school spirit and service. Students of all ages and their families, as part of our fifth annual service week, participated in a wide range of service and volunteer activities. Extending that spirit, pre-K and kindergarten students at both Riverside and 94th Street campuses worked together to package lunches for the New York Common Pantry's 365 program. We had our first ever block party for this year's Spirit Day event on 88th Street, and the day was filled with community members coming together and enjoying lots of fun-filled activities, including a Halloween costume contest. Now, speaking of Halloween, my favorite holiday, our students on every campus enjoyed our annual tradition of dressing up, going on parades, and having a spooktacular day. So many wonderful examples, Deanne. And of course, we can't talk about school spirit without acknowledging our Lion athletes because they roared through the fall season with some fantastic results. Dwight's girls varsity soccer and varsity volleyball teams were unstoppable, with both taking home the ISAIL championship titles and the volleyball squad also reclaiming their ACIS championship. We're so proud of all of our student athletes this year. Let's switch gears though. Uh, are you going to go outside, Blake? Outside? Isn't it snowing? Finally, we have been able to resume some Dwight trips this year as well. It's true, our 8th graders went to Washington DC. Our New York students flew across the pond for Dwight School London's fifth annual choir fest. After several days of rehearsals and bonding, they performed live with peers from both London and Dubai. The students had a fantastic time, and we look forward to welcoming even more students from our global network here in New York in February for our annual global concert at the iconic Rose Theatre at Lincoln Center. Say, so Blake, it's getting a bit nippy outside. Maybe we should go back in and make some decorative snowflakes. Sounds like a great plan, Deanne. Looks like you might need some more crafting help, Blake. Look, it has been amazing to see students flourishing again in the arts without restrictions. Upper school students shared the acting and directing work at our Performing Arts Centre during Fall Scene Night. Student talent continues to shine brightly in the upper school theatre production of The Liar. Kindergarten and Timothy House students returned to Symphony Space for the first time since the pandemic for their joyous holiday music celebration and students in all grades shared their love for music at our Fall Conservatory concert. Our mini art shows together with the Fall Art Exhibition featured a beautiful array of pieces reflecting the work students of all ages have been doing. Yeah, Blake, we'll need some more work on that. Admittedly, my snowflakes are not very impressive. We do have a few more highlights though. We've had a very busy fall season. The first Spark Tank event of the year saw student entrepreneurs sharing their progress and presenting their projects to our Spark Tank Committee for feedback, mentorship, and innovation grants from the Dwight School Foundation. 
Our Early Childhood Division and Maine Campus Parents Associations resume their annual book fairs for early and young readers. Looking ahead to January, the PA is planning a wonderful return to our International Food Festival, which we're all excited for. No one wants to miss that one. Well, Blake, I'm really happy that our school year is going so successfully well. And I want to thank our Dwight community for supporting us to get to this point in the year. I wish you personally a wonderful winter break where you get much rest and enjoyment with family and friends. Wishing you all a happy and healthy holiday season.